the name of Allah, the most merciful and mighty. Today is our first class. In this class, we will discuss nomenclature. What is nomenclature? How we will define nomenclature? Nomenclature is the system of giving names to plants is called nomenclature. Uh, basically, nomenclature can be divided into two main types. That is botanical nomenclature and uh, zoological nomenclature. In botanical nomenclature, we give or assign name to plants. In uh, zoological nomenclature, we give or assign names to uh, animals. So, uh, botanical nomenclature is uh, very, very important. According to the view of a scientist, uh, that uh, uh, names uh, play an important role in the whole biology of uh, an organism. Uh, he is of the view that it is actually the name which uh, which acts as a key to unlock the whole biology of uh, an organism. So, uh, just like uh, just like the common objects uh, to which we assign name, and uh, through that name, uh, that object or thing is uh, recognized or identified, and through that name. We can communicate that object to each other. So uh, the name of the plants are important because plants are important creature of uh, organism. And without naming, we cannot identify a plant. We cannot recognize a plant. We cannot communicate a plant with uh, each other. So before uh, 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 before going to discuss uh, the rules. Uh, uh, the importance of nomenclature, we will discuss the history of uh, nomenclature. So the history of nomenclature is as or as the human civilization itself. Uh, uh, it starts basically, the system of, give, uh, the, the system of naming starts basically uh, from common names or vernacular names. So the, the common names are vernacular names we will discuss uh, uh, it later but the actual history of nomenclature basically starts uh, from 200 BC in which Cato, uh, Cato assigned uh, two names to plants. This scientist, uh, the Cato, he was uh, Cato in 200 BC. He was unaware of the concept of genus and species. The concept of genus basically uh, it, took, it took place in the uh, 18th century in which uh, a very famous taxonomist, uh, the Linnaeus in 1753 uh, put forward the concept of uh, genus and species and Linnaeus is considered, uh, therefore considered as uh, uh, father of uh, taxonomy. So Cato used two names to plants, but he was unaware of the concept of uh, genus or species. After uh, Cato's naming, yeah, the, 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 the system of naming was converted into binary generic naming. Binary generic naming means that uh, uh, if we consider a plant, for example, Mangifera indica. Mangifera Mangifera indica. This name it is consisted of two parts. That is genus and the species. So if Cato used two names to a plant, so that will be in, uh, in such a case, after Cato, this, uh, uh, the, 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 the first uh, noun, the first noun, that was replaced uh, by, by two words, and how it was replaced, that this, this one, it is considered as a noun, this noun was translated into Latin, and uh, Due to this translation, the actual name of the plant was converted into binary generic names. Binary generic name means having two genus names and having a single species name. 
So this the, the this kind of naming was was uh, considered as binary generic names. So here here comes a concept which is called trinomial concept. We will discuss it uh, uh, later. After um, after the binary generic name, the names was replaced by descriptive species name. Descriptive species name it means that the species uh, that will be actually translated into Latin language and that makes a uh, descriptive term. Descriptive term means uh, the, the, the species having uh, uh, having single name that will be in the form of uh, uh, description. It will be the form of description. So the binary generic name were replaced by descriptive species name. Later on, in 16th century, Brunfell uses the method to convert the binary generic name into single one. So that was basically uh, the, the, the evolutionary aspect of naming of plants or the evolutionary aspect of uh, nomenclature. So after the descriptive species name, Brenfield in 16th century uh, used to convert the by generic name into single one. Later on, another scientist, Dodonius, he came and he uses the binomial names to plants. The binomial names means that the plant's name will be consisted of two words, that is genus and species. So they, they, this, this concept, the binomial concept, was put forward by uh, Linnaeus in 1753 in his book, Species Plantain. We will discuss it in a uh, detail later on. Later on, after Dodonius, another scientist came uh, that is called Gaspard Bain. Gaspard Bain. Gaspard Bain. In uh, 1623, uh, he did a monumental work. He discussed some plants uh, in his uh, in his own. Uh, uh, documented book and that book is called Penex. In Penex he used uh, he used binomial concept of naming. So the actual uh, uh, the actual naming system it starts in the 18th century. In 18th century Linnaeus put forward the basic concept of binomial nomenclature. So Linnaeus is considered as the father of taxonomy. Linnaeus put forward the concept of binomial system in which uh, and that was later on followed by uh, uh, the other scientists like uh, uh, D. K. Dole. D. K. Dole also uses the system of binomial nomenclature. So Linnaeus, he used two names to plants. For example, uh, Solenum nigrum. Solenum nigrum, it is the botanical name of the nightshade plant. And uh, in, this, in this name, which is consisted of two words, that is solenum and the other one that is uh, negrum. Solenum is considered as genus and the negrum is considered as uh, species. So this was basically the binomial system. So if we, uh, if we consider the whole history, the whole evolutionary history, we, we come to know that uh, uh, this this whole journey that is from Cato up to uh, up to the Linnaeus 1753 journey. 
in this in this journey we comes to know that the plant the name of the plants attained uh, attained different uh, concepts and that concept for example uh, we, uh, we will consider that is uh, we go through the mono monomial system monomial system the second one that is uh, binomial system the the third one that is uh, poly nomial system and before poly, uh, polynomial we will consider the trinomial uh, trinomial system of name and monomial monomial means uh, a single word uh, uh, to use uh, a single word is used to name the plant that is uh, the monomial system for example Branfield Branfield followed this system that he gave a single name instead of by generic names to plants the second one that is binomial concept in binomial concept which is used currently by the scientist uh, after following the rules of international botanical nomenclature and they that rule will be discussed in the, in the next class that rules actually define to give name to plants which is consisted of two parts and that is the genus and the species as we have discussed it earlier in the case of Solinum nigra and in the case of Mangipera indica the Mangipera indica is commonly known as mango it is commonly known as a mango later on there occur yeah there there occur a concept of trinomial naming or trinomial nomenclature the trinomial nomenclature means the system uh, which assign name to plants and their name is basically consisted of the three parts for example if we considered uh, if we considered the binary generic names the binary generic names which was uh, 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 which was uh, um, followed in succession after Cato that is the binary generic names uh, we have discussed already uh, in case of uh, in case of this plant if we divide this this name, this noun into two words and uh, left the species name as such then it will become a trinomial so in trinomial concept the, the, the name of the plant is consisted of three parts and uh, the last one that is called by polynomial system polynomial system means the system uh, of giving many names to plants. In this concept, basically, the name of the plant is consisted of many parts, and in some cases, it uh, uh, it may be the whole sentence, uh, or the name of the plant is in the form of the whole. Uh, sentence or uh, it may be in the form of uh, the whole paragraph huh? so these names these names these were difficult to pronounce or uh, there occur qu question in mind that uh, why not the monomial concept is used why not the polynomial concept is used why not the trinomial concept is used today so the answer is that the monomial system it uh, it 
basically doesn't define uh, the, the 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 biology of uh, uh, the biology of an individual plant. Ah, uh, in other words, the monomial system it was not a recognized system. Uh, it was not a workable system. It was not an official uh, concept or system which should be followed for the naming of uh, plants. In, in this era, actually in this era, the, the, the botanical knowledge was limited. There was no uh, such a, a, an authentic committee of scientists to use the monomial uh, concept or to give them importance that a single name will be assigned to a particular plant. Similarly, the polynomial system, the polynomial system, it is uh, too much difficult to give name, uh, to give long names to plants. And that long names, basically, uh, it, uh, it makes the knowledge uh, difficult because in polynomial concept uh, uh, even some of the plants uh, which have been given names uh, they were in the form of a sentence or in the form of a uh, paragraph so these names were basically descriptive names the descriptive names uh, uh, were those names uh, which uh, which actually defines the whole characters of the plants. Later on we will discuss uh, about the characters of the plants that uh, in which uh, what kind of inflorescence is there in a plant. So that kind of inflorescence is defined here in the polynomial system. Uh, Later on, in the, 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 the trinomial system was not followed similar to that of polynomial system and monomial system because these were also uh, difficult to pronounce and difficult to communicate with each other among the students, either among the students or among the scientists. So, uh, before 1753 or before Linnaeus, which is considered as father of taxonomy, the monomial system, the polynomial system and the trinomial system um, have a very limited era and in the current age these concepts are not in use. The concept that is binomial nomenclature is currently used to give or to assign name to plants. So uh, here uh, a question arises in mind that uh, human civilization it is uh, very old. Uh, I mean it, it is before Cato. It may be considered as before Cato. So before Cato how the people used to name the plant so the people used to name the plants uh, uh, actually the people used to name the plants but those names were common names common names so uh, we will give a short description upon the or a short explanation upon the common name of the plant what is common name the common name it is also called, common name is also called uh, vernacular name. These names, it is used by a layman or it is used by a common uh, man. Uh, in this common name, which, wa uh, uh, which was used by the human beings, and they, these names, uh, these names are basically not the scientific name. It is used in common language. It varies from region to region. 
It varies from language to language. It varies from dialects to dialects. So these names, these names are not uh, uh, no more in use. Are uh, it may be considered that uh, uh, it is used by every individual living in a particular geographic region. So this concept is also is called as the human civilization itself or the, uh, the human history itself. So these names, these are not official names. These are unofficial names. It is uh, the, the scope of the common name is limited, is limited to certain region only. It is limited to certain group of an organ, uh, human beings. Huh? Or it is limited to certain particular societies. Huh? So these names, it, uh, <coughs> it provides uh, difficulty to recognize or to identify a name because a name given uh, uh, to a plant in Urdu is different in English, it is different in French language, it is different in German language, it is different in Arabic language. So the common names, it is having very limited scope, it is not having an international or um, widely recognized scope, therefore it cannot be used by every individual or every student in scientific knowledge. So they provide basically difficulty. So this concept, it is limited to a layman. A layman can use the common names, but the recognized name, that is binomial name, and their binomial name, names were uh, uh, defined by certain rules and that rules um, uh, is, uh, 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 is uh, recognized by uh, a specific community of scientists and uh, uh, that is called uh, uh, international rules of uh, botanical nomenclature. These uh, uh, names, th these are workable names these are communicable names, these are uh, uh, recognized names because a specific uh, scientist, a specific committee of scientists, they recognize those names and uh, these names are uh, actually the binomial names which is consisted of uh, species uh, which is consisted of uh, two words the first word is called genus and the second one is called uh, uh, species so uh, after this after this we will discuss about uh, the rules of botanical nomenclature that uh, how the um, how the plants are given names according to their truth. Thank you very much.